Today, a question from the world's toughest math exam. Let's roll. Okay, guys, lovely. So let's get straight to the question. We are supposed to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 minus x to the power of 4 all over x squared plus 1 and use the result to prove that 22 over 7 is greater than pi. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> this question actually appeared on two of the most difficult math tests, uh, math exams in the entire world. That is the Putnam competition and that's the GM, GMEE -E or GEE -E advanced competitions. Okay, so that's gonna be probably pretty tough. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, the 22 over seven is considered one of the best approximations of pi there is. And we're supposed to prove that it's actually not an ideal approximation, it's not equal to pi, it's gonna be actually strictly greater than pi. Awesome. So first of all, well, we unfortunately have to evaluate this integral we've got right over there, so let's just go on and do it. That is, let me rewrite it here, the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4, 1 minus x all to the power of 4 all over x squared plus 1, and well, unfortunately, there is nothing we, could, we, we can do here apart from just well, multiplying every now and performing long division. <laughs> on the on, on the resulting thing by x squared plus 1. So let's just go on and do it. Let's not be lazy here. The integral is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4. And now by the binomial theorem, there's going to be x to the power of 4 minus 4x to the power of 3 plus 6x. You know, 6x, that was oh man, negative 4x and then plus, so oh no, well, I oh, I forgot a, a square here. Okay, lovely, and that's all divided by x squared, x squared plus 1 dx. So let's now just go on and distribute this x to the power of 4 all the way through that awful, awful, mm, how to say it, polynomial right here, and let's just perform long division. Love it. So what we would like to do now is divide x to the power of 8, yeah, that's x to the power of 8 minus 4x to the 7 plus 6x to the power of 6 and then minus 4x to the power of 5 and then plus x, x to the power of 4 by x squared plus a 1 and the we are gonna be writing our answer, lovely. So first of all, x to the power of eight minus four to the eight, uh, four x to the seven by x squared plus one, that's gonna be x to the power of six there, that's gonna be x to the power of eight. Then here we're gonna get just x to the power of six. Now we're gonna go on and subtract this entire thing. What we're gonna get is negative four x to the power of seven right there then plus 5x to the power of 6 and then minus 4x to the power of 5. Then once again, we would like to go on and divide this stuff out. There's going to be negative 4x to the power of 5. Lovely, there's going to be negative 4x to the power of 7 and then minus 4x to the power of 5 here. We would like to once again subtract this entire thing. We're going to be left with 5x to the power of 6, well, this is taking a lot of space, <laughs> uh, plus 5x to the power of 6, um, and then plus x to the power of 4, that's going to be um, 5x to the 4th, yeah, that's going to be plus 5x to the power of 4 right there, negative, uh, sorry, no, plus, just a plus 5x to the power of 6, um, then what? 5x to the power of 4. We would like to subtract this entire thing. Getting just negative 4x to the power of 4. That's negative 2x squared. No, sorry, that's negative 4x squared. Now that's gonna be negative 4x squared minus 
negative 4x squared once again subtracting all of that thing is gonna be negative 4x squared that, but that's just gonna be negative 4 right over here that's gonna be negative 4x squared and then negative 4 so it's gonna give us just a 4 and now we just have to add oh, we have to actually subtract x squared plus 1 no 4 over x squared plus 1 pretty nicely the way oh I, I did a mistake here i should have put plus there okay lovely so that will that would be all for the long division so that's exactly what our integrand turns out to be after all the tedious computa computations so let's just rewrite it here and now let's integrate the hell out of it so what i would like to do is take an integral from 0 to 1 of all of this thing of all of the stuff dx that's gonna be now x to this the integral of x to the 6 is x to the 7 over 7 so x to the 7 over 7 then negative 4 4 x to the 5 is gonna be 4 over 6 x to the 6 and then plus 5x to the power of 4 is gonna be just x to the power of 5 negative that's gonna be 4 over 3x to the power of 3 plus 4 times x and then there's gonna be actually negative arc tan of x if you're not familiar with this uh, particular derivative then you might also do this by integration by parts but this video would just get um, absurdly long if i wanted to do, this, to, to, to do this thing right now so that would be the arc tan of x and everything is going to be evaluated between 0 and 1 we see pretty luckily that on the lower bound of integration in 0 all this stuff is going to be just a 0 it's going to all nicely cancel out so we only care about the upper bound integration and that's going to be well 1 over 7 minus 4 over 6 plus a 1 minus 3 over 4 over 3 then plus a 4 minus and now the arc the the tan the in inverse tang um, uh, of x at x equal to 1 is pi over 4 that's going to be negative 4 multiplied by pi over 4 which is just a negative pi and actually it's pretty interesting because this entire thing is going to be equal well you will do this by hand which i'm too lazy for this so i just use calculator beforehand it's going to be equal to 22 over 7 minus a pi Okay, so now it makes sense that we're supposed to use the result of it. Okay, guys, so my camera died, but nobody cares. So we are given that this integral is actually equal to 22 over 7 minus a pi. And well, this should now make sense why we're supposed to use this evaluation in order to put the 22 over 7 is greater than pi. Because you see, now getting back to the original integral, this x is always, I mean, in this integral, is in an interval between 0 and 1. And we see that in this interval, a to the power of 4 is positive. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it's positive. The 1 minus x to the power of 4 is also positive, And x squared plus 1 is just as well positive. And so we see that this entire function is going to be positive. But well, what is an integral... What is, what is an integral uh, evaluated for a function that is positive on the interval we take the integral on? It's also going to be positive. Huh? I mean, this function we're taking an integral of on this interval is strictly greater than zero. And so the area under its curve also will have to be strictly greater than zero. And so we see now that the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the power of 4 times 1 minus x all to the power of 4 all over x squared plus 1 which is equal to 22 over 7 minus pi is greater than 0 and so this will mean after just adding this pi to the right hand side 22 over 7 22 over 7 is strictly greater than pi is exactly what we were supposed to prove lovely so what did we do in this problem well first of all we just unfortunately had to uh, multiply out this entire awfully looking 
awfully looking, uh, how to say it, um, binomial coefficient, no, binomial term to the power of 4 and then perform long division by x squared plus 1. What we got there is the integrand after, well, all of those trials and tribulations that we integrated and took and evaluated in the bounds of 0 to 1 after taking the antiderivative of it and then we just calculated all of the stuff we got out of plugging one after pl plugging the endpoints of the interval into that antiderivative and we got that it's equal to 22 over 7 minus a pi however then we noticed that the integral had to be greater than 0 and well if 22 pi over 7 was greater than 0 then 22 over 7 had to be greater than pi and that's exactly what we're supposed to prove Hope you guys enjoyed this video and well if you did, see you next one. Bye.